Hey guys, and welcome back to Become a God. Last episode, I piloted GSG 0222's Yellow Sagittarius Tempo, and I had a fantastic run with it. Went 5 0 on the video, but I was also kind of three or four games up before I even started. So I haven't lost with this deck since I've started playing it, and I'm hoping to continue that as I go into rank five. So if I continue my, if I get two wins now, I get uh, rank five. But even if I was to lose a game, I'm pretty sure I can get the, this episode, touch wood. So hopefully I'll be able to hit rank five with this list and it's been absolutely fantastic so far. So without further ado, let's get into the games and see if I can hit rank five. All right guys, first match and fantastic cards to find in my opening hand here. Oh, even better, a second Magnamanta Rider and the Sagittarius. So things are looking very good. We're going to get SKC. Um, big fan of SKC's Red Yellow, temp uh, Red Yellow events. You know, I have played that in the past. It's been a very fun deck I've enjoyed. Uh, but we're going to see what SKC is bringing. It looks like it's going to be Rush. I really don't want to play a Sagittarius yet, simply because I don't want it to... I don't want just like a Mace Man to come here and then, oh, well, Sagittarius just dies. Uh, not really what I'm interested in here, so I'm just going to pass and go for the Manta Rider. I'm kind of hoping I pick up a Flash Wind so we can do what we did in the last episode and just like push an aggressive... Uh, Manta Rider into that position. Interesting. So if I had set up the Sagittarius, I would have got a prayer proc. But I was so afraid of Mace Man that I didn't do it. Maybe I just needed to uh, bite the bullet there and just play the uh, play the Sagittarius. It's gonna be a probably gonna be a monk to start things off or a follower. Get those prayers going, you know. And the, and the rush will begin. <laughs> so what's what's happening? Talk to me, SKC. What are you drawing? What are you playing? What are you killing? Yeah, he's going for the uh, going for the the Manta Rider here, protecting the protecting the monk. Soul Drain. Yep. Flash Salmon. Yep. And a cycle. Okay. I'm happy to take a draw. It's going to be a Manta Rider. So it's happy to take a draw there because if I picked up Soul Drain, I could go Manta Rider, Soul Drain and just stop the card draw of the Monk. So not being able to kill that last turn is a, a little problematic. This is not looking good right now. Prayer as well. Oh, I should have set that Sagittarius. I feel bad for it now. It's just because I saw uh, Red Rush in my last time I played against uh, Rush on the last episode. And I haven't seen much Yellow Rush in my in my travels. It's mainly been Red Rush. So I just didn't want to work, walk into that Queen's Guard or that Mace Man. And keep my Feria. Zealous Crusader. Demon Wrangler. So I want to find Soul Drain. Soul Drain is, is key in this position. It's not even going to do much for me, actually. No, I'm just gonna have to, to nightmare this and I just kill this here. Maybe just plus one and just try and get something going next turn. It's quite an oppressive start for me to answer, especially with the, the Wind Soldier Soldier to clear my first Manta Rider. Very difficult for me to come back from that. Oh, is this just lethal? No, it's gonna kill my Manta Rider. Plus one. Oh no! Don't be a don't be another hasty. You know, oh, D Shaitan Demon. So that's going to be over. That that concludes our first match already. I mean, I can win Soldier, I guess, but what's it really achieve? I guess I'll try. I mean, yeah, I guess we can just win Soldier here and play this and hope for the best. Uh, just try and draw a Soul Drain. It would have things would have been a little different if I had played Sagittarius because I would have got a prayer off. I mean, yeah, the prayer would have been really good. So it's gonna be another demon. Yep. Hmm. It's not enough. All right, quick first loss there for this episode. 
kind of a bit of a blowout, really. I, I guess playing not playing the Sagittarius was incorrect, but in some ways it was correct. If I was, if I was playing it's red, so I think that 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 decision was key there. Uh, there was also the, the, the fact that my opponent had Windsor the Soul Drain for my first Manta Rider, then a Demon Wrangler and all that nonsense, so it, it's a pretty oppressive start, but yeah, not looking good so far. Uh, let's hope uh, things pick up in our next match. Alright guys, another match. Oh no, it's, it's a run back. Why SKC? Why are you doing this to me, dude? Okay, now I'm setting up the Sagittarius. It's happening this time. Yep. Yep, yep. I, well, it's different now. It depends if he double neutrals or he deserts. See now, see now it's now it's different because I can just get wind soldiered. But to be fair, I think I'm fine with that overall. I'm setting it up. I, I, I'm, I don't care what happens to the Sagittarius now. I've set it up this time, it's probably wrong, but whatever. <laughs> Wind Soldred, I dare you. I can. I, my Manta Rider will be safe then. No, it's just going to be the demon blocking. Okay, okay. I get on board with that. This is fine be in a way because it sets up a Wind Soldier for me. So I, I'm, I'm okay with that, you know? I, I'm, I'm pretty happy overall. Let's shoot you. Go for the Manta Rider. We are gonna flash win this. Because now if the demon wants to clear this, it has to make a land. Which means I don't get haste unit desert monk. But I think the I think the demon's just gonna go forward here. I don't see a reason for it to backpedal and kill my Manta Rider. Because now it can just play land here and get the monks going and the all all the sorts all the nonsense if if a if a demon wrangler does come down i'm not soul draining this i'm going to use this to help me race i'm just going to hit here aggressive land and then just play another manta rider so i'm hoping for a, i am hoping for a demon wrangler here because i want an excuse to soul drain something <laughs> without having to soul drain this see so yeah, i'm feeling pretty good about this this is a nice, this is actually a really nice, uh, Zealous Crusader. What is this all about? This is ridiculous. Oh, double soul drain. Okay. So I'm still going to go for one Manta Rider. And then I'll just soldier in the other Demon Ring Wrangler next turn. I just want to uh, represent lethal over the next two turns. Because now, for example, let's say the Zealous Crusader comes back. It's this. I have five, six, seven. Wind Soldier's lethal at this point, unless both of these are cleared. That's the plan. Let's see what, see what else happens. Because I didn't get any value from the healing when I if I killed this as well. I really wanted to set up this Manta Rider. I think it's just my best out. Is he going to Soul Drain his own Demon Wrangler? I wouldn't blame him. He has to push four more damage. But then I have Lethal on uh, Campfire and Wind Soldier. So I have six Lethal options if you go for that line. Eight, nine. Oof, it's close. Very close here, guys. Flash Salmon. Hit. Is that Demon Wrangler? No, it's just another Zealous Crusader. Okay, so it's banking on just living on a Wind Soldier, right? The worst thing is I don't even kill this with the uh, the, the Manta Rider. I Soul Drain this, right? And then these two are just going to be lethal. It's going to be one over. 
I need to... If, man, if, if this was in a better position, I could Soul Drain and clear this hip for five and I'd still have a turn to work with. Uh, but that's not the case here, unfortunately. This wasn't in the way I would be able to move down and Fnatic. So I really needed to draw like Flashwind there instead if I was going to go for the defensive line. But yeah, that's for Soul Drain. 12. And there we go. So not enough, unfortunately. And there we go. SKC just farming my yellow tempo right now. It was me so optimistic at the start of the episode. Yeah, we're going to get rank 5. It's going to be great. I'm rank 7. Thank you, SKC. Uh, yellow Russian, your way to victory there. Let's get into another match. Let's see if I can pick things back up going into the next game. All right, guys. Another game. Things have not been going well this episode compared to the last episode, which was, which was amazing. I'm already down two games at the hands of SKC. Very talented player, so no surprise there. But now things could go really well. You know, we have the Sagittarius to start things off. We also have a, an Outland Ranger, which is really cool. So I can go uh, Desert, Explore, Outland Ranger into Campfire. Play around that Cypher's Wrath. I feel pretty good about that because I'm not only am I setting up an early harvester, which we haven't done in the last few games, but I'm also reducing the cost of my Colossus. Colossus reduction, always a very powerful part of the Yellow Tempo strategy. Krog's dinner? What? <laughs> well... Yeah, I'm gonna choke in Sans that. <laughs> in a, it, we're in a world of choke in Sans Krog's dinner. Alright, so Krog's dinner is just out of there. Bye bye, Krog's dinner. Hmm, so double neutral's pretty good next turn. I set, set up the Sagittarius, I can double neutral, and then I can get ready for this Colossus on the follow-up. Manta Rider's not bad as well. Like, I think I'd actually prefer Manta Rider at this point, simply because I want something that's durable to Firestorm, but actually it's not too bad going forward now, simply because my opponent's invested so much Feria here. I am going to move this up because I do have the Soul Drain, so I can collect off this top well, and then I can Soul Drain this and clear it, then reduce my Colossus further, then probably just play the Colossus into this position. Now my opponent can answer with a Flame Burst or a Cypher's Wrath, but this card might just distract my opponent from the true threat, which is my Outland Ranger. So we'll see what happens next. Nothing at all. Feels good, guys. Okay. Hit. Soul Drain. We are going to draw because, no, we can't draw, sorry. We're going to hit that, plus one. Colossus, so in a very strong position already. Uh, we cleared the Grand Shaker, nice and easy. Got a 7-7 seven, seven down, <laughs> feeling pretty good get about that. We also have mobility as well, so mobility could uh, play a, a huge role in uh, maneuvering around something here if I can't kill it and then get an extra damage in, you know, take the shot and then move around. But we, we, we want to probably draw cards next turn. I'm just going to be a quick concede, so pretty quick game so far. Uh, yeah, they've been kind of snowball-y uh, at the moment. So yeah, let's just get into another match and uh, see how the next one goes. Into another match, fantastic draw there. I think I'm just going to keep all of this. I like having the soldering available. If I need it to just take out a threat. Sagittarius as well, to start things off. We don't get the explore, which is a little sad, but we can just go desert, desert, Sagittarius into Outland Ranger, and that would work out quite nicely. It's going to be a water elemental. Yep, as to be expected. I'm going to go down the opposite side, say hello to our friend here. Oh, Manta Rider. Too good to me. Too good to me. 
yeah, let's 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 get things going. Let's uh let's start poking away at our opponent with the uh with the Sagittarius, getting that extra Feria, getting that uh power ups to our Zealous Crusader. We'll synergize this quite well. I haven't played against blue in a while. This might just be ramp. Uh, if we see a, a forest come down, but if it's some mono blue deck, I'd be I'd be happy to see uh, what's cooking here on my, on my opponent's side of the field. Not oh, this ramp. Too bad. Uh, I got too excited there. Shifting octopus with jump. Yep, that's to be expected. We do have a nice answer to this in the form of a campfire, so we can just campfire up. Have a little shoot at our opponent's yak. Yeah, we just pass. So the shift of an octopus was a nice answer to try and challenge the Sagittarius, but the the campfire was really good there in kind of stopping that. So it's gonna jump over, okay. Into a battle toads. Alright. Really want another campfire in this situation. Let's take a draw. Last Nightmare. Not that interested in Last Nightmare right now. I I, I want to kill this, ideally. I'd stop this from dying, so I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna play the Manta Rider. I'm gonna Soul Drain this, and I'm just gonna have a, a snipe at that. And now now the we're in the same position we were last time. The only difference is now Shift and Octopus can receive a power-up. The land has been developed. So this could be powered up and moved across. I guess I could have went for the last nightmare there, actually. Yeah, maybe maybe that was just better. Maybe I should have uh, Soul Drain shot last nightmare on this. And then it's just the two Battletoads and Sagittarius is pretty safe. So yeah, a bit of a misplay from me, I think. I had, a, I had a good opportunity to get things sorted there. So what do we do? Do we collect into Nightmare now? See, I, I would have Nightmared it anyway if it got powered up. So yeah, a misstep from me, guys. Uh, I, I feel like I, I messed up there. Very awkward Outland Ranger. So we are going to Nightmare, we're going to commit to the line, just because I want to keep my Outland Ranger intact. And then the Manta Rider can then move on to the lake, uh, push a bit of damage, and maybe even set up an aggressive uh, desert for next turn. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. So a little Battletoad wants to fight. Might see an Aurora come down. Might see a Colossus come down. Maybe you like block Colossus and go for the race. Oh, Frog Tosser, okay. Can I race at this point? I am going to take 8 damage next turn, minimum, but that's not including power-up, so I will go to 10. My opponent, yeah, I, I don't see racing being an option here, so I think I'm just going to retreat, collect, and hit this. I'll take a draw. Okay, so if anything gets out of hand now, I do have access to... Uh, I do have access to a last nightmare, so if anything big does come down, I can just get rid of that. Quite easily, especially with the flash winds as well. I can move around the board, collect Feria. And these Manta Riders should be able to check all these little frogs. Double neutral here. Yeah, gonna go for the Smork. Must have a good follow up here. Yep. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Colossus.
Oh, Frogify, okay. Frogify Colossus? Ugh, yeah, that's not, that's not good. That's not good at all. So I do need removal of some sort. I mean, I do have Nightmare, I guess. I guess I can Nightmare? Ugh, so bad, though. I guess I have to do it. I just have to, I just have to suck it up here, guys, and just get the flash window over the plus one into the Nightmare. Soul Drain would have been better. Soul Drain would have been fantastic, actually. Colossus? Nope, it's gonna be a shifting octopus. Gonna taunt me up. It's a 5-3, so making sure it has the opportunity to push for lethal if it needs it. Interesting. Oh, I, I very interesting actually. Uh, if, I, if I have more fear in a soul drain, I'd, 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 I'd consider like flash wind. Um, move right down here, campfire, clear this 2-2. Two -two. But this frog could just jump over and clear and hit me for lethal. I think I should just get the value anyway, because if I don't, I, I'm probably going to lose this game. Uh, that's for sure. Oh, I can't do that anyway, because of the taunt. So yeah, I'm just going to have to do this. Power up's lethal. And it all comes down it all comes down to that turn where I decided that I wouldn't nightmare or I didn't even really come come to a decision where I wouldn't nightmare my opponent. And that was crucial. Absolutely crucial in uh in that game because if because we had a water elemental here and the, no we had a frog, a water elemental, and the and the octopus. So what I needed to do was hit Soul Drain Nightmare. And this actually protects my Sagittarius, uh, which means if this frog jumped down on the follow-up, I would have been able to shoot that too. So yeah, a mass that that mistake cost me the match. Uh, it, I basically never came back after that. And yeah, that's gonna be game. So rank five is looking uh, off the cards right now. <laughs> uh, I've been making some fatal errors along the way. But we'll keep playing, we'll, we'll see where we can get, and maybe like next week will be our push to rank 5. Alright guys, another match. I'm gonna mulligan this hand, we don't want it. It's a little bit better, we have a removal, we also have the outline range to start things off. Let's see what my opponent's playing. You know, if I'm playing against red, things could be a little bit more worrying, but no red, feels good, so let's just get this outline range. We are gonna campfire it to play around the... Uh, the Deepwood Stalker, just because that card's been shown up more and more recently. So yeah, let's let's see what happens next. It's going to be a forest into a Verdran Forcer. That, that works out fine for us. We have the Wind Soldier and the Outland Ranger to finish that off. So feeling pretty good about that. So we can just pass here. This moves down here. We'll just we'll just clear it. And hopefully we pick up like a Manta Rider or something to follow up with. That would be the dream. <laughs> just getting that Manta Rider. Oh, gonna build a land for us, right? Very kind. So I, I can take a draw now since my opponent built land for me. Yeah, we'll take the we'll take the clear on this. I know I, I know I was saying to uh, I was saying earlier about my opponent playing was it last it might be last episode about my opponent playing a Zealous Crusader like this. But I, I think I'm going to do it myself right now because I just don't have any good follow-up play. And it does, it does act as a double collector for 4 Furia. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just hoping I can uh, get rid of this. Is double spider? See? Spiders, guys, everywhere these days. So I get a good double collection clear going up, which is pretty good. And I can also then just campfire this. This elder would embrace this though, I do fall into a bit of trouble. So yeah, let's stop drawing these Alice Crusaders. I don't want to see them. I 
do I just risk the... No, I can't. Can't, can, can I realistically choke in sense this? That's the question. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right, there we go. So I'm stopping my opponent from double collecting. That's the plan. I'm gonna double neutral next turn and then just play the Outland Ranger probably on this side. Campfire at the player in that last Deepwood Stalker. You, you, you never know, guys. Bone Collector, okay. Yeah, so double neutral. Island Ranger. Just try and get, we both could try and get some Harvesters going in this matchup. Haven't picked up a Manta Rider yet, which is a little sad. I'd, I'd like to pick up one. To help me get back into the match. If another Deepwood Stalker comes down, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> That's for sure. All Deepwood Stalkers in the first uh, few cards. Okay, so that is a problem. I am going to have to tank a bit of damage here by the looks of it. I will campfire now because I will play around that last Deepwood Stalker because I believe if this gets Deepwood Stalked, I just lose the game on the spot. I get double collect, I get to Nightmare this. It's pretty good for me. If I draw my other Wind Soldier, I'll be in a better position overall. Uh, simply because I'll be able to, should be able to Wind Soldier this. Turns out happens to the Bone Collector actually. Might move down so I could collect off this. So yeah, Wind Soldier is pretty good here. It's not looking good, guys. The, the, the double demon stalker was absolutely brutal. That card, like I was saying in the first, uh, sorry, the last episode, uh, Deepwood Stalker is just such a fantastic option to a uh, yellow tempo. Uh, my opponent draws the uh, Virgin Force, so the third one. T to double Deepwood Stalker, triple Virgin Force, and I'm drawing Flash Winds. Fantastic, guys. Flash Winds and Flash Winds in Kaleem's prayers. I I'm, I'm, I'm geared to win here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Manta Rider. Something I can work with. Sort of. Gonna have to just play aggressive here. I, I mean, I can't race a Virgin Force necessarily, but I can just develop develop some defenses uh, while I continue the hit with the uh, with the Manta Ride. Is that just a taunt? Yeah. Okay. All right. Last turn. And there we have it. Another game in the bag. Uh, these games have been so... This is a complete contrast to my last episode, which was going fantastic. Now, this, this, these episodes are not really getting much going. I felt like the the, the blue-green jump uh, match I played last game, that was down to my fault. But here, it was hard to say. I kind of had a very clunky hand. But yeah, we'll just keep going. <laughs> we'll try. I guess the, the goal now is to get back to rank 6. So let's get back to rank 6, and then we can try for rank 5 in the next episode. All right, guys, another game. Going second feels good. Let's throw these. Let's, let's keep this. We can keep this as a collector. And we get the Manta Rider. Really nice, sir. So let's see what my opponent has in store for me. It's going to be the Smork. All right. So we have the... We, we did this before where we flash winded up to try and race our opponent. We're going to do the same thing. Continue to try and race our opponents. Maybe a desert into an air elemental. Okay. Let's get this guy down. Yeah, we'll get this guy down because this can double collect for us on the next turn. I can also, well, it's probably not going to double collect. I'm probably just going to use this as a defender. Probably kill the air elemental, kill this guy. Double neutral across. Soul drain, of course. And then move up. 
All right, let's see if I get to draw removal. Nope, no removal for me. Looks like I am going to have to hope my Manta Rider sticks around. So I didn't play against a lot of Yellow Rush last episode. Um, now Yellow Rush is starting to show up more. And Yellow Tempo doesn't really do that well against Yellow Rush. It's, it's a bit of a struggle, actually. Uh, because they can keep the hand advantage, they can keep the fairy advantage as well with the prayers, so it's, it's it's difficult. Especially if they have removal on hand in the early game, because if they start just removing your guys, it's, it's, it's really rough. Okay, so it looks like I'm nightmaring uh, Air Elemental. Feels good, guys. An Air Elemental getting eaten by a nightmare. Fantastic value for my opponent. Probably just going to see a uh, desert come here, another monk or another follower. Continue the pressure, continue the card draw, and start building towards that Zealous Crusader. Another elemental. There's a lot of deserts. So I can expect a crystal flower as an option for my opponent. Wind Soldier is okay here, but probably just set up another Manta Rider if I'm honest. Yeah, just set up another Manta Rider. I take another two damage, which is inevitable. I'm going to take damage anyway, so I might as well try and set up the sturdier board rather than go for the more reactive plays with the removal. And I can use Manta Rider in combination with like Wind Soldier to potentially kill a Zealous Crusader if one comes down. It's four Furia. It's a pretty good time to play a Zealous Crusader. No, I'm just gonna pass. All right, I need to get something done because if I don't, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. So let's. Should have drawn first, actually. Alright, I have some defenses, but I'm in a position now where I'm just, I can just die to haste creatures. Uh, I do need to pick up Soul Drain, it's going to be crucial. Uh, because now I'm in lethal range, uh, pretty easily actually. I, I do need to pick up some heals, please game, oh it's just another haste guy. My opponent draws all the removal, like, like my last uh, rush games. Ah oh, man, it's this, it's a little frustrating, but... Yep, yeah, I'm just not drawing haste. Um, heal, sorry. Not, no heal, I'm not allowed. How dare. How dare I expect to draw heal? What are these expectations? I can't block everything, so... Kinda have to take my medicine, really. My opponent either has it or doesn't, and there's a high chance when my opponent does have it. So you can see, like, the, the difference in how things went now. See, he just has some haste, but yeah, you can see uh, how different the ladder can change over a day. <laughs> you know, I was doing great yesterday, but today, climbing backwards with uh, the uh, with the Yellow Tempo deck. Because Yellow Rush just runs a train over it, and I've played against uh, three Yellow Rushes today. But yeah, I, I think that's going to wrap this episode up, to be honest. I don't feel like getting battered by Yellow Rush anymore. So yeah, that is going to conclude this episode. So things didn't pan out very well for me during this episode, and like last episode where things were just amazing. You know, I had great matchups, great draws. Uh, it was, there was, we had some really good games during that uh, episode, but this episode, you know, I, I ran into the Yellow Rush meta today, so it, it kind of just slammed the deck and I wasn't able to get anything going, uh, which basically meant that I, I wasn't going to win because Yellow, Yellow Rush completely tramples over yellow tempo unless you get like a really good start and a lot of removal in the early game which i never had in any of those yellow rush matchups 
If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, drop a subscribe to keep up to date of when our content goes live. If, this, if, you, if you're watching this video first for GSG's at Yellow Temple, watch the last episode. A bit more satisfying in terms of victories, but I think this episode is pretty important to, uh, you know, teach that, you know, if you are in a Yellow Rush meta, don't play this deck. Wait till those Yellow Rushes are gone and then come back to this deck a little later on as it is very powerful. So until next time, guys, take care and enjoy Yellow Saggy Tempo.